What I'm going to talk to you about today are basically nine easy ways to save money on your translation services. If you have to buy translations for your company or whatever or have to deal with translators or translation offices, here are nine easy ways to save some money while doing that. Tricks of the trade, so to say. Okay, there are first, first of all, there are two categories of savings. Uh, first of all, it's uh, how to save money by preparing your document well, what to do and what not to do. And requesting a quote, tips on how to do that in the most cost efficient way possible. First of all, preparing your document. Tip number one, delete all excess empty spaces out of document. Most of your count programs today, the, the programs that are used to define the price of your translation, whether you're being quoted by line or by, by uh, word or by character, basically these count programs count characters. Excess empty spaces are characters. So you're basically going to save a little bit of money by erasing all of those empty spaces out of the document. You're not going to save a fortune, but you might save a few dollars here and there. Tip number two, always send an editable document. Uh, there are a lot of customers that send a PDF. If you want to spend that extra money, that's fine. Uh, all in all, it's going to cost you more. Um, you, if you do have to send a PDF, if you've only got a PDF uh, to, at your disposal, it's probably going to save you some money just to do that conversion yourself and then submit it. Um, there's a few ways this is going to save you some money. Basically, there's going to be a quicker turnaround time. Time is money. Uh, you're going to get your quote quicker. Uh, you're going to get the translation quicker uh, if you send a, a tra uh, an already converted document. Um, now, you also save on desktop publishing costs. There are a lot of uh, agencies or offices that, that work the, uh, the time they use to convert your document either directly into your price or indirectly into your price. Um, you can be sure that the formatting of your translated document is also what you want. Uh, that I always tell that to customers. Basically, send me what you want to have translated. I'll make sure that it uh, gets translated and I'll retain the formatting 100%. Uh, it's a lot better than submitting a PDF and getting something back that you're not quite sure of. There are offices that, that offer perfect formatting back, but usually they're charging you in some way or another. Um, now, for the quotation, you're also going to have a rough idea of how many words, characters, and lines are in that document. Can I give you another little side tip? When you make a conversion, there are usually going to be a lot of excess, empty, redundant spaces. Uh, which we talked about in the previous tip. Uh, you want to try to get rid of those and we'll save some money. Now, requesting a quote. How often I have heard this sentence. How, many, how much would it cost to translate this document into French, German, Spanish, for example? I need the translation as soon as possible. It's urgent. It always is. Tip number three. Send your request over CC. Now, this might seem weird, but if you do that, if you send it over CC and you know the, the recipient is gets the mail and they're like one of the the undisclosed recipients, that that person on the other side of the computer is going to think, "Ooh, there are other offices in the game. There are other offices that are are basically my competitors are also sending them quotes. So they're they're um, they're going to be a little bit more competitive." In general, in your uh, when making when uh, issuing your quote, tip number four: specify in the request that you would like a clean and unclean file as a delivery or files. Um, now, this is language jargon, and I do explain this in detail um, or a little bit more detail in my my video on translation technology. Uh, but even if you don't know what that is, uh, just by saying that phrase you're going to give the person who is doing your quote uh, the impression that you know translation and you know the translation industry. You're probably going to get a discount if there are words or phrases or segments in that document that repeat because as I, as I explained in my other video um, you can definitely, if there's repetition in a document, you can definitely save some money. Um, you're going to save money in your future translations as well uh, because the person on the other side of that computer doing your quote is going to also think that you're familiar with translation memory and they're, they're going to 
most likely introduce that to you and explain to you that they do keep a translation memory for all of your translations to uh, save money in the future. Uh, now the uh, the vendor is also going to be very honest with you when counting the document. Uh, obviously if they think that you have some sort of a translation tool on, on your end um, that is going to be able to do a counting job uh, to count the document then they're going to be very honest with you uh, when, when giving you a quote. Uh, tip number five if there is a lot of repeat in a document make sure to point it out now I'm not saying that you have to analyze the document but it's, if it's obvious that, that sentences or, or various words repeat uh, several times uh, make sure you point it out um, if there's uh, repetition in a document the agency sees that uh, as a percentage anyway when they do a do an analysis uh, they're going to see for example there's 30 percent repetition in this document um, if there is 30 percent re repetition in the document you probably have a good chance of getting a 15 to a 30 percent discount depending on how competitive that translation office is. Uh, an agency normally only pays their translators very little, if at all, for this repetition. Uh, I feel it's it's actually good to pay a, a translator a certain amount because it still has to be proofread. But um, all in all, an agency would, ne if it's 100% repetition, agencies are barely going to pay for that. Uh, tip number six. Um, are there a lot of numbers in your document? If there are, then ask for a discount. If it's a financial document, it's got uh, five pages of, of numbers, um, you should ask for some sort of a discount because in the translation industry, to a great extent, I'm not saying completely, I mean the numbers are very important obviously, and they do have to be proofread, but to a great extent, these this is an automated process, even, even checking the numbers uh, to that extent are to a large extent also automated so ask for a, a, a small discount on that. Uh, tip number seven um, set a budget and say that or say that you have a tight budget um, you're not obviously depending on how expensive the translation agency or the translation office is um, they're either going to accept it or not uh, but if they'll most likely give you a quote and quote you the lowest amount possible um, they are human beings and being human beings they're also logical beings uh, and they're they're gonna see hey that person wants to try to save some money let's let's do a good job on this quote to see if I can win his business tip number eight if a translation is not urgent don't make it urgent it's only gonna cost money um, translation offices often hear I mean they hear it every day it's urgent I need 10,000 words by tomorrow um, it happens almost at every request if, uh, and there have even been t some times where I get customers to say it's urgent when does it have to be done uh, sometime next week <laughs> here's my tip just say um, that you need the document by a certain deadline and that you need a quote by a certain deadline um, yeah and, and just basically work with that pure logic which quote will be more, more cost effective the one that was done in 10 minutes or the one that took an hour obviously if they took an hour two hours even a half a day to do your quote it's going to be more cost efficient if they, than if they just spit it out the same goes for translation by the way any good thing takes time if you always leave as much time as possible for your translation it's not an automated job it takes time uh, tip number nine make sure that you know um, what your expectations are and make sure that those are known uh, and also make sure that the purpose of the document is clear this is going to save you t uh, money and, and rework and time uh, you're going to improve the quality of your translation in general uh, if the document is meant to be a press release make sure you let the person know that it's a press release uh, if the document is meant uh, for publishing make sure you let the, uh, the person or the translator know uh, it, it, there's a lot of stylistic issues in the translation for example if you know the purpose of it it's going to help a, a, the translator a whole lot that was the end of my video uh, make sure to check out my other video uh, translation technology 
uh, visit, feel free to visit my website. Um, thanks for watching.